Hey everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. I've been using the all new 7th generation iPad mini for almost a week now and I really really love it. I've done a full review on it which you can click the link above or in the description below to hear my full thoughts on this new 7th generation iPad mini. It's a great device and um, today I decided to do a what's on my iPad mini video. But before we go and dig into my lock screen and my home screen, I want to talk about what's on my iPad or how I protect it and it's with this ESR case. It's a lot like the smart folio cover that Apple sells, but it's a lot cheaper. I think it's anywhere between 15 to 20 bucks. It also has this nice magnetic flap as well to enclose the iPad into this. Really thin, really light. So if you are interested in this case, I have the link in the description below. Like I said, it's only like 18 bucks, way better than Apple's own $60 smart folio. All right, so now that we've talked about the case, let's take a look at the log screen. So on my log screen, I just have the, the date, the time, and then I've got the calendar or the events that are coming up. Uh, I've got the temperature and I've got the battery widget, which lets me know, you know, what the current battery status is for all my devices. Let's enter into my home screen now. So that was very simple. Now, when you look at my home screen, the first half is all widgets and the second half at the bottom are just my favorite applications. So now let's take a look at the first half of my display. I've got the widget for Apple TV. I'm a huge uh, streamer. I love to stream movies and TV shows. So I've got the widget for Apple TV. So currently, as you can see, I'm watching The Penguin. I'm a huge Batman fan in general. So that is uh, currently what I'm watching. Amazing show. Um, and then you can see my list. I want to rewatch The Batman again. I'm watching uh, Acapulco on Apple TV Plus and Bad Monkey is a show that I want to start, which is also streaming on Apple TV Plus. If you have any recommendations on what to watch, definitely let me know in the comments below. So that's the Apple TV widget. Now, the next widget that I have right next to it is the top stories widget for, for Apple News. And uh, I'm someone who loves reading the news. One of the first things that I do when I wake up in the morning is I you know take my iPad out and I just read the news. So I like to have the widget on there so throughout the day I can see what's trending. Um, so that's there. Then I've got my calendar widget, which shows me all the events and reminders. And the reminders is new because with iOS 18 or iPad OS 18, I should say, uh, reminders is now integrated within your calendar app. So I really like this widget because it tells me how many reminders I've got and any events that might be coming up next. Next up, I've got the weather widget, which, you know, on a quick glance, I can see what the temperature is and what it's like outside. Next up, I've got the Apple Books app. Now, I am someone who is an avid reader. I love reading on the Kindle and I love reading on Apple Books. I like to use the Apple Books app. I think it is one of the best looking apps to read books on. It's absolutely wonderful. And I just love the, the fluidity of it. You know, it just, it's really, really cool. Like these with these page flips and just with the overall look and feel, I really, really like it. It's really, really nice. So if you are someone who also likes to read books, definitely comment below, let me know any uh, suggestions you have. I personally like to read mysteries and thrillers and suspense and stuff like that. So that's the Apple Books widget. Next up, I've got Netflix. So this is a really nice app because I watch a lot of shows. I don't use Netflix as much as I really used to. Um, you know, there's a lot of great content I feel like coming out on HBO Max or, you know, Apple TV Plus, but Netflix is something I use. In fact, the two movies that I watched this weekend, Don't Move and Woman of the Hour, are both trending as top 10 on US today. So that's interesting. No, both are great movies. I ha highly recommend you watch them. But um, yeah, this is uh, Netflix. And then next up, I've got YouTube. And let's be honest, it's the best app. And I might be being a little biased here, but I love YouTube. I don't, you know, a lot of people who create content get so caught up with creating content that they forget to consume content from other content creators. And I'm someone who has my favorite, you know, uh, creators that I really like to follow on YouTube and I love watching their content. So, you know, that's something I really like. And hey, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, you know, I talk about all things Apple and digital reading and stuff like that. So subscribe if you haven't already done so. Next up, I've got Apple Files. Um, like I said in the review of my iPad mini, I use this iPad mini as a device to also store a lot of, a lot of documents and also content, right? So for example, one of the B-roll that I film in my videos, I have that all stored here. That doesn't need to take up the storage on my iPad Pro or my iPhone. I store all that B-roll content here. So whenever I need it, I just get my iPad mini, airdrop it to my, you know, iPad Pro and start editing. So 
all my documents, all my videos, and it's not just for YouTube, but also my personal videos and photos with friends and family. You know, I like to store that in the files app. Then I've got camera. I don't know why I have camera here uh, because I never take pictures of my iPad mini. Uh, next up, I've got X um, for social media. Next up, I've got Studio. Studio is a really nice app because I can create graphics um, from this app for my social media and YouTube. So like, for example, right here, I uh, did this, uh, you know, video for my story where, you know, my iPad Air review, when it crossed over 100,000 views, I created that story on this app. So it's really, really cool. I also create my thumbnails on here. So this is an app that I really, really like, really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that's Studio. Next up, I've got the App Store, then I've got Instagram. And uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where you can get to know a little bit more about my personal life, I guess you could say. So it's at the face Ali. And I really wish Apple, not Apple, but Meta came out with a actual iPad friendly app for the iPad because I love Instagram. But I hate that you only get an iPhone version of it. Like, come on, it's 2024 Instagram. Like, come up with a iPad only app now. Anyways, that's Instagram. Next up, I've got Luma Fusion. Luma Fusion is my app of choice for editing videos. It's the app that I really, really enjoy, you know, editing videos on. In fact, all the videos that you see on YouTube are edited on Luma Fusion. Now I don't edit them on here. I edit them on my iPad Pro because I like the larger canvas and you know the trackpad and the keyboard of my magic, you know, keyboard. But um I want it on this because I actually do want to completely edit a video on the iPad mini because now that it has an A17 Pro processor, I want to take advantage of that and you know edit a video on here. I can use a wireless, you know, Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad um, for editing because this is too small of a device to be, you know, getting in and zooming in and making cuts and stuff. But I will be editing a video on Luma Fusion, which I will drop soon. So stay tuned for that. Next up, I've got Threads. Threads is a really nice app that I never really thought I would really enjoy using, but I actually really, really do like it. It's a great app. Um, and I get to, you know, interact with a lot of, you know, people who are fans of, you know, Apple products and, and iPads and stuff like that. So like, it's a great way for me to interact and engage with people. You know, whenever I drop a review, I share it here or any just product announcements and stuff like that. It's a great app that I like in general for Apple related stuff. Next up, I've got YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is great because I can see how my videos are performing and also see all the comments that I'm getting. And trust me, I'm going to get better at replying to comments. Um, that is a uh, work in progress. So that's a YouTube Studio app. Next up, I've got settings. And then next, the, the second page that I have, and as you can see, I don't have a lot of apps on my iPad mini because I don't need to download a lot of apps because I'm mostly just using this device for consuming content and maybe editing things here and there. That's pretty much it. But you know, I've got the typical Apple apps like voice memos, calculator, the new passwords app that comes with I iPad OS 18. Then I've got Prime Video and Disney Plus. Um, Image Playground, which is an iOS 18.2 uh, feature, which I don't have access to yet, but it's a, it's a new Apple intelligence feature that I'm excited to try out. Then I've got Teams, Amazon, and Outlook. I should put Teams and Outlook next to each other. Not that it really matters, but I'm like a little OCD with, when it comes to stuff like that. And Teams is the app that I use for, you know, communicating with my team, right? So I'm a marketing consultant, and then this is the app of my choice for you know, interacting with my team and sending documents and just, you know, talking to them. Then I've got Outlook for my professional emails. Um, then I've got Amazon because let's be honest, who's not hopping on Amazon, right? Uh, it's a dangerous app to have. Um, then I've got Maps. I've got Peacock, which is another streaming app. FaceTime, Hulu and Max, more streaming apps. ChatGPT, I love ChatGPT. As Apple intelligence is slowly coming into these devices, I'm using ChatGPT a lot to get my emails proofread, my documents proofread, if I have anything or edits that I need to make, um, this app can do it for me. So I love ChatGPT. Even just asking certain questions, it's really nice and answering is super smart. Um, and then I've got Yelp uh, because I love going to restaurants and trying new cafes and stuff like that. And this app allows me to find them um, and also see pictures because if I'm going to a restaurant, I want to see how the food looks and stuff. So I really, really like using this app. There's a ton of great coffee shops and stuff that I found from this, you know, app and I religiously use it. And last but certainly not the least, I've got Camo, which is a lot like Studio, just creating social media graphics for my clients. I want to use this just for content consumption 
and I want to keep it as clean, minimal as possible. So this is pretty much what I have. And at the end of the day, I want to know your thoughts. You know, if you have an iPad mini, what are some great applications that you use that you think I might like? Whatever they are, comment below, let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll catch you next time.